Last time out in the Premier League, there were nine fixtures played as Liverpool played earlier in the week. Chelsea v Spurs was postponed. Out of the nine, one score correct. Wolves beating Sheffield United 1-0. Happy to get it, hoping I could have got more, but that hope shifts on to this week. There's some good fixtures here. Hopefully, we can get some more scores correct. There is a big one, the Manchester Derby on Sunday, which I will be looking forward to watching. So hopefully we get some more here. Make sure before we get into the predictions that you like and subscribe. I'll give you five seconds to do so. And let's get into the predictions. We kick things off with Brentford against Chelsea. Now Brentford have lost three in a row, being against Liverpool, Man City and West Ham. Neil Mopé has been okay, decent goal scoring form, but Brentford are looking like they're struggling. They have got, I'm pretty sure, their whole back line out injured, their whole first four defenders. So it's difficult for Brentford at the moment. They'll be hoping to get some of these players back soon. Will they survive? I think they've just about got enough, but it's going to be a tight end to the season with not too many games left. Chelsea looking to break into the top 10 at the moment. They can pretty much do that if they win because of where Newcastle and Wolves are sitting and the fact that they're playing each other. So Chelsea need a win here. They lost in the Carabao Cup final against Liverpool in extra time. Their last two Premier League games have both been away. The latest was a one-all draw with Man City still. So interesting to see where this goes. I've got a feeling that Chelsea will edge it and win 2-1. Everton's last six games have been five draws and one loss. So they're not managing to get that winning goal and they need to start doing it because they are very, very close to the bottom three. They face West Ham and West Ham were struggling six games without a win until last weekend they played Brentford. Lucas Paqueta was back. And when Paqueta's around, there's always a party going on. They won 4-2. They haven't been scoring recently. They scored a lot. Jared Bowen got a hat-trick. It looks a lot better for West Ham. They're somehow sitting 8th in the table, despite that spell of no wins in 6. They had started well, but I thought they'd have slipped down a bit more than that. But it sort of shows you that a lot of sides around them aren't too consistent at the moment either. I think West Ham will get all three points here with Paqueta being back. When Paqueta, Kudus and Bowen all play, they are a very strong side going forward. So West Ham to win it, 3-1. Fulham face Brighton next. Now Fulham, in their last three, they've managed to win two. The latest was a 2-1 win away at Old Trafford last weekend. So a great result for Fulham. They're going to be fine this season. They do pick up the odd win here and there, and it's going to see them through comfortably to the end of the season. Brighton are one of those sides at the moment that are a little bit inconsistent. Their last six, two wins, two draws, and two losses. They missed a chance of getting through to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup last week, losing against Wolves. But Brighton, yeah, they're, they're a tough side to call because... They're not winning a lot of games that you'd expect them to, but they do pick up the odd wins. I think this will be a tight one. Brighton should win it on paper, but I'm going to go one all. Newcastle face Wolves. This is an interesting looking clash. Newcastle were unbeaten in four, but last weekend they rolled up to the Emirates and they got thrown out pretty comfortably with the Gunners winning 4-1. Wolves, good form recently. Picking up plenty of wins and they've actually managed to leapfrog Newcastle. Which is a surprise because Wolves were one of the sides at the start of the season that were fancied for relegation. But they've got plenty of goals now in their team and they're doing a fantastic job. Gary O'Neill has pretty limited Premier League experience with only Bournemouth and now Wolves. But he looks like a fantastic young manager. This game, I think it could go either way, but after Newcastle's poor display midweek against Blackburn in the Cup, yes, they got through on penalties, but they had a pretty strong lineup out on the field and couldn't get the job done in the 90, which was a shock. But I think 
Wolves are going to win this 2-1. Forest face Liverpool and Forest haven't been in great form as of late. Out of their last six fixtures, one win, one draw, four losses in the league. So Forest need to start picking up wins. They are the side that are probably most in trouble of dropping into the bottom three. But again, they've got enough players, enough quality to not fall into the bottom three. Liverpool, three wins in a row in the league. They won the Carabao Cup final last weekend against Chelsea. They got through in the FA Cup to the quarterfinals against Southampton 3-0 with quite a few youngsters in the side. I mean, all three goals came from youngsters, so Liverpool are doing very well lately. I think they'll win this one 3-1. Spurs take on Palace next. Now Spurs were unbeaten in five in the league before losing 2-1 to Wolves last time out. They have been in good form, but they need to start winning more games, even though they're winning a few, to get into that top four. Now, Palace, I was worried about Palace. I thought they were going to drop into a relegation battle. I thought that they really struggled, but they've won their first match under Glasner. 3-0 against Burnley, good performance. And the key thing is, Eze and Elise were both out. And they still managed to get the win. That was my concern. Under Hodgson, without Eze and Elise, they didn't really win many games. I can't I can't really remember any that they won. So Palace maybe have sorted that issue out now of coping without those two players as they're both pretty injury prone. And then obviously when they have them back, it'll be a massive bonus. For this, I don't think Palace will get anything. I've got the feeling Spurs will win. 2-1. I was hoping for a better Saturday night game, but hopefully this one proves me wrong and is entertaining. It's Luton against Villa. Now Luton, there were plenty of goals midweek, so maybe there'll be some now. They lost 6-2 to Man City, Haaland scored 5. You know, it's good to get so far in the FA Cup, but when you come up against Man City, you kind of expect to lose. Other than that, they've lost their last three Premier League games and the key one was losing 3-1 against Sheffield United at home. That's where their problem has kind of been this season. The two sides below them, Burnley and Sheffield United, well, against Sheffield United, they've lost one, won one, and against Burnley, they've lost one and drawn one. They needed to pick up more points in those games. If they'd have picked up three wins and a draw or three wins and a loss, you know, they're a lot closer to safety. They're going to be in a much better position than they are now. But I've still got faith that if any of the three can survive, it's Luton. Aston Villa, decent form lately. They had lost two in a row at home in the league this season, their first two home losses of the season. But they won last time out 4-2 against Forest at home. That one was interesting as they were 3-0 up. Then it went to 3-2. So it could have gone either way from there. But they got the winning goal and they made sure of the three points. They're still sitting in the top four. They'll be hopeful they can finish there. But it's going to be a long last run to the end of the season. This one... I think Villa will get the job done, 2-1. Burnley take on Bournemouth, and both sides not in great form. Burnley, no wins in their last eight, and they've lost three in a row. They lost 3-0 to Crystal Palace last time out as well, which isn't great when Palace didn't have Elise or Eze playing. Bournemouth, I thought they were doing well, and they did go for a good run of, I think, six wins in seven, but since that point, they kind of dropped off a cliff. Seven games without a win. They lost their last one, however, 1-0 to Man City. And I think Bournemouth were pretty competitive in that game. I watched it and I was pretty impressed with the way they set up. I think if they can play like that against Man City, they shouldn't have any problems against a really poor Burnley side. So I'll go Bournemouth to win it 1-0. The Manchester Derby next on Sunday. Looking forward to this. Manchester City have been in brilliant form in 2024, 
10 games played in all competitions. They've won 9 and drawn against Chelsea. They haven't been full of goals recently. Their last two league wins have came against Bournemouth and Brentford. Both 1-0 wins, but 3 points is 3 points. And they'll be hoping that Haaland scoring 5 in midweek in the FA Cup against Luton and them winning 6-2 will give them that confidence to score some goals against their rivals. Man United, they were in good form. Four wins in a row in the league. They were really flying up the table. Hoyland was in great goal-scoring form. Hoyland then got injured, and they lost 2-1 to Fulham. And United were at Old Trafford, so not a great result there. This isn't a great game to try and bounce back in. I've got plenty of flashbacks at the Etihad of Haaland and Foden just running riot so and those two have a special connection as well as De Bruyne so I've got a feeling those three will all be involved in at least one goal this weekend whether it be a goal or an assist and I'll go for Man City to win 3-0. Sheffield United face Arsenal on Monday night in our last game of the round. Now, Sheffield United, four losses out of their last five with a win sandwiched in the middle. They look like they're going down. They already look pretty dead and buried. And they just don't have enough goals to survive. They're not great defensively either with the worst goal difference in the league. Although I don't think that's helped by that 9-0 loss to Newcastle earlier in the season. Arsenal, brilliant form as of late. They've won six in the league in a row, and they've scored plenty of goals. You've got a 5-0 against Palace, a 2-1 against Forest, but then 3-1 against Liverpool, 6-0 against West Ham, 5-0 against Burnley, and 4-1 against Newcastle. They're full of goals at the moment in the league. I can see another few here. So I'm going to go Arsenal to win 4-0. So, those are my predictions for these Premier League fixtures. Make sure to get your predictions down below or pick out one or two games that you really feel about or maybe you're a fan of one of the sides and give me some reasons why you think the result will go the way you think. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll give you three seconds. One, two, three. Have you hit it yet? I hope you have. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to do so. And hopefully it's an entertaining weekend of Premier League fixtures. I'll catch you next time.